Now that the site has been defined, let's create a simple HTML page to put out on the internet just to verify that all of our settings are correct and things are going where they need to be. All right. So in this little file palette here, you notice that there's an option here that says connect to remote host. If I choose that option, it's going to connect to the remote host. And what's great is Dreamweaver now you can click anywhere and it actually goes into the background. You'll see it right down here in this bottom corner of kind of what's happening with it. There we go. Now if you look up here, this file changed. It now says www slash and I have a couple of little folders here. Well, what do I what does all this mean? Well, these folders are what's on my internet server. So I'm actually looking at my server right now. And you can tell what you're looking at by this option right here where it says remote view. So here is my local folder on my computer. There's the C right there. There's the remote view, so it's telling you on the internet what we're looking at. If we had a testing server set up, you would see the testing server. And currently, we don't have a um, site map, so you can't see any of the map views, but I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so we'll go back to remote view. And it disconnected, so we'll just hit connect to remote host again. Uh, it disconnected because we went to the uh, testing server. So we're going to give that a second to update. There it is. And as you can see, we have a folder on there called stats. Well, we never created this folder, but this was created by our web host provider. And this folder gives us st statistical information about who's coming to our website and things like that. We also have a CGI bin if we wanted to add some uh, Perl scripts or some kind of scripts. And then these four funky folders, actually five, uh, really weird looking folders, those are from front page extensions. So um, if you want to activate front page and use that as instead of Dreamweaver, you would have these folders that the system automatically creates. All right, what I want to do now is create a website or a web page. I'm sorry, let me cancel that here. Go to local view and I'm going to hit create new HTML. And I'm going to create a little simple page that says welcome world. Just some simple text. I'm going to save this. Okay, again, I don't have any other pages, so I'm going to say index.htm. Okay, and some people like L, HTML. I like, I like HTML. It's fine. We hit save. You notice it's right here. Now, let's get this onto our website. So I'm going to go to our website, show you what it looks like right now. dtwebdesign.com and there's nothing there okay now watch I'm gonna select this uh, file and I'm gonna hit this up arrow which means put this on the server uh, we don't have any dependent files but I'm just gonna say yes so in the future it will automatically put dependent files alright now watch I'm gonna come over here and hit refresh and there's my web page so it's just that simple to take things from your local hard drive and drop them off at your uh, web host very easily now there's one thing that I want to talk about and that's on our remote view this folder right here stats I don't want that folder on my hard drive I have no need for that folder on my hard drive so what I can do is go right click cloaking and hit cloak. You notice it has a red slash in it. What that means is when I synchronize my website, it will not download that folder. It'll cloak it out. It's it's invisible to my local hard drive. All right. So let's say uh, you had a certain type of graphic that was a really big graphic or a PDF file that you know you're never going to update. You can cloak it. That way it doesn't have to keep uploading, downloading, uploading, downloading all the time. All right, so let's go back to our local view, and let's make some folders. Very easily, you can right-click, new folder. Yeah, I actually made a new file. Let's delete that. Actually, delete is just highlight it and hit delete on your keyboard. That'll get rid of it. 
let's come in here with new folder right there we'll say images and that's as, that's how easy it is to make new folders now I'm gonna drag and drop a whole bunch of um, images in here and to get all of these folders I just click and drag and drop them in okay so that's the images folder I'm gonna drag and drop my flash and make sure I drop it on this top folder here okay so you can see here I have a flash folder and it's got some elements in there and then uh, I have a uh, X XML document which is called quotes and I'm gonna drop that on the word site now by dropping it on the word site you see the folder structure these two are at the same folder this is one folder this is one folder in and that would be the third folder or the third uh, file in so that's kind of how these are organized so let's get our entire website put onto our server hit the blue arrow we'll say yes we want to put the entire site out on the server hit OK and there it goes it's gonna actually dump all those files as you can see directly on the server that's uh, easy for us now that we don't have to constantly update we can now just upload certain files that we want to tweak with alright so once you're done you can actually go over to remote view and you can see that the images have been uploaded the flash folder was uploaded and our quotes were uploaded so a uh, great way to verify what you've got now let's say you wanted something on the server you wanted on your local folder let's say the CGI bin you can then hit the green arrow okay which is get files or get folders okay so when you go to local view there it is so that's how you can synchronize these back and forth now if you had the check-in and check-out options this is how you would check out a file so you'd highlight the file hit check out okay highlight a file hit check out and when you're done you can check it back in so that's how you would utilize this files folder now that I have the quotes activated here let's go to map view okay we'll go into edit we need to determine under our sitemap layout we need to determine the home page we'll say index okay give it a second to calculate and you'll see right here that at current only one page will show up in our uh, map view so there it is however as we add more and more pages these will you'll see a whole hierarchy of different pages that are peeling off of this so now that we've got our site connected our files uploaded let's actually get in there and start building some web pages now the best way to build these web pages is to build one file get everything the way we want it and then tear it apart and so we can make many more files based off of one we're gonna look at cascading style sheets we're gonna look at uh, inserting different elements and page holders there's so much that we're gonna be able to cover uh, in this training kit that if you get lost at any time just watch the lesson again check out uh, the different uh, elements that we're doing or functions that we're doing within that lesson um, so let's get started